Hey everybody, welcome back to the workbench here at Scale Models Midwest. Dave, here in Altoona, Iowa. Beautiful day outside. And just kind of getting into the groove of the weekend. Looking at the model and getting some ideas down on what I want to do with this. Because we're going to start cutting, start gluing, start putting things together. And start throwing some paint on it this week. So, a couple of days ago I got a package in the mail from Joel Mendoza at Iceman Collections. I'll have the link for his Shopify site in the description. Highly recommend that if you have never bought product from Joel Mendoza at Iceman, do so. The, the stuff that I've been watching him post on Facebook has been fantastic. A lot of stuff for lowrider trucks. He does full bodies. He does chassis components. He has a full selection of engines as well. And, well, I just want to kind of show you what I bought for this kit. Let's get right down to it. So first of all, I ordered uh, three packages from Joel at uh, Iceman and the first one that came in was a chassis. Uh, not just a chassis but components for the chassis. They all come nicely bagged and you can reuse these bags, a little Ziploc type. This is a 130 to 164 inch wheelbase custom drop frame. He says that it would fit with minimal touch-up for a car uh, but it'd be for good lowrider cars, uh, lowrider trucks, and I looked at it and I thought this would be kind of something I might want to put underneath the Mustang. You see this is how it would look, and I'll show you what I was looking at it when I was sizing it up with the Mustang because I may very well go up with this. The other package that came with the chassis included suspension parts, and this is why I really looked at this and thought well why not you know this is something to really seriously consider so here's what we have I'm moving the chassis out of the way a little bit for starters this is all done up 3d printed he's got disc brakes okay he has the uh, what looks like calipers for the brakes as well I mean this stuff is just fantastic just a little bit of cleanup in simple green. I'll let them soak for a bit and then uh, wash them off with some warm water and soap. But look at the detail on this. This would be basically a, a two piece setup for the disc brake. Excellent detail. I just, I really like that. I can put some Brembo decals on there and be just happy. Then, of course, this is what really caught my eye suspension set up here that would go on the front end kind of like this it goes into place nice and neat I mean just look at the detail on that this is this is fantastic Joel if you see this video I mean, highly recommend it guy I'm gonna be buying more stuff from you for sure but that looks good I like it a lot in addition car airbag suspension in for the back but regarding the suspension Take a gander at this. Excellent detail. I mean, this is 3D printing. 3D is the wave of the future. Back in the day, they were always talking about resin parts. I tried my hand at resin parts with an old 53 Ford F100 pickup that had a 5 liter intake in it. And I did about 10 copies of the Ford 5 liter intake. I liked it. It turned out pretty good, but then they just kind of sat in a box. I, I'm sure I've got the box somewhere with those parts. I only ended up using one of the 5 liter intakes and the rest of them just sat. But man, 3D printing. Um, I personally can't afford one right now. Obviously, I have a daughter in college. But um, for those like Joel Mendoza and others who have the ability to make them and sell them to us, uh, like I've said before, it just makes the hobby get better and better. And it would just sit up underneath the chassis like that and of course I mean that's just gonna look really nice now I had some things that kind of looked at with that and I'll show you what I was looking at and maybe you can give you some ideas but let's get on to the other parts that I had so the next item that I have in the box from Iceman are these really cool racing seats Again, 3D printed. These are not going to require a lot of cleanup at all. In fact, all the parts that I've seen in here so far 
do not look like they need a lot of cleanup at all. What's really cool about these racing seats is they are in scale, 125th. I'm sure you could use them for 124th as well, but they're going to work great in the interior of the Mustang. And I think they'll also clear the roll cage that I'm planning to put together. The only thing I could see is maybe drilling out those side portions for the uh, racing harnesses. But if I don't do that, I can just drape them over the uh, shoulder parts and be fine. What's really cool about these is they also come with a set of 3D printed seat tracks to mount onto the floor. So I really like those. But the coolest thing is yet to come. There you go. That's the motivation that I'm going to have for this SCCA tribute build. The 2011-2012 Ford Coyote first gen 5 liter, which is the exact same engine that's in my current Mustang that I have in the garage. So I've got a great reference point for paint detail once I start putting this together. Again, I'll be soaking all these parts for maybe about a half hour in some simple green and then washing them off with some soap and water prior to sanding them and putting them together and then doing the paint. But again, this shows you the nature of the 3D build. For starters, nice little decals for the cam covers, which I think is pretty cool. And then, look at that, 3D printed parts. You got the cam covers, you got the five liter intake, you've got an extremely well detailed short block, the six speed transmission, stock exhaust manifolds, and the serpentine belt assembly. This is far and away one of the best engines that I've received from anybody short of the Ross Gibson engines that I have bought in the past and put together in some of my kits. Again, um, this guy, Joel Mendoza, has a ton of engines from small block Fords to big block Fords, Chevys. He's even got the Hellcat, I believe. Um, he's just got a lot of different types of engines. He's even got some JDM style engines. And I had an idea on buying one of the JDM engines to put together in a Mustang, kind of like the Fast and Furious uh, movie that was set in Japan. But um, that's for another day. For now, this, as I start to take the parts off of 3D printed tree, again, I'll soak them, then I'll start sanding things together, put it together with some CA glue, and then get the paint detail going. So hopefully by Wednesday, I'll have something in uh, progress for you to show on that. But wanted to show you about the chassis real quick. So I'm looking here and I thought, you know, I, I did some work on the wheel tubs and I thought it'd be great. And I asked Joel through Facebook if he thought that the chassis would fit. And he says he believes so because uh, it's 125th scale and it's pretty much as wide as the body would need to be. And he was showing people a mock-up of what it would look like altogether. So I took his word for it, ordered the kit, and he's exactly right. Look at that. I think this is very doable. I may just scrap the stock chassis and put it in my parts box and use this. The only thing that I had a concern with, and I'm still going to decide, and maybe you can leave some comments down below, is the rear. So now when I looked at the rear, this is what I end up with. It's doable. It'll fit if I take out these two plastic pieces that would normally hold the bottom of the stock chassis to the interior tub. It'll fit. And then, of course, I could put that in there as well. Obviously not in place itself, but I think that would look really good. What do you think? If I go that route, I noticed, let me put this together off camera and then I'll put it back for your viewing pleasure. If I do that, I'm going to have to really shorten up that rear. Now I figured there's some cutting involved and I don't have a problem with that, but I'm going to have to cut what looks like a good inch to an inch and a half off of the rear section in order to get it to fit. And then I think it'll fit 
in that rear end with no problem. And if it does, then I could actually put the rear seat back in place and it'll fit just fine. It might change also how I put in a roll cage. Um, if I put the rear seat back in place, I'm going to have to figure out something regarding the roll cage so it'll still tie into this chassis here. But um, I don't know. What do you think? Should I go with this chassis or should I use this front part and then cut the back half off and use the stock 8.8 .8 rear end? I'd like to use as much of what I got from Iceman as possible. So again, I don't know on this one. I have plenty of time to work on the engine as well as starting to prime and, and paint the body, get it sanded. So I don't really know. Um, I got some thoughts, but uh, I'd like to see what you think. So leave your comments below. And uh, again, I'll leave his address and web information in the description. By the way, before we go, speaking of paints, I had a couple people suggest going with the TS-19 metallic blue. I like that one myself. I was kind of leaning towards the brilliant blue, but I do like a little bit of metallic. And then I started thinking as much as I would like to have like one mismatched fender. Um, I don't know if I want to take that kind of a risk. I figure if I end up using these 19 inch tires and rims, because I still can't find the Volk TE37s, then I want the kit to look nice. Um, I might still go with a fender, like maybe a replacement fender that's done in like a flat black, but everything else would be that nice, shiny metallic blue TS-19. Or I might just go full on metallic blue. The one thing is I'm gonna go with a gray interior because most of the Mustangs of this era came with red interiors like mine did, but you saw some gray ones, saw some black ones. I'm gonna go with gray. So again, chassis, should I go with stock or should I go with a combination of the two? Let me know what you think. Comment down below and we'll see you on Wednesday. With that, again, as always, if you see a kid out in the store that you'd like, pick it up, build it and show it off and even send me pictures and I'll post it on here for you. I'd like to see what you're doing. With that, have a great day. See you in the next video.